This is a photo of Major Thomas William Rogers, posing in front of a tusker he stalked for days and eventually killed. Major Rogers was a high-ranking soldier of the Ceylon Rifle Regiment in the 1820s, who later became the assistant government agent and district judge of the Badula district. He was, however, possibly better known for killing between 1,400 to 1,600 elephants within a span of 10 years. This is approximately double Sri Lanka's elephant population as recorded in 2005. When Sri Lanka, then Ceylon, belonged to the British Empire between 1796 and 1948, the hunting of wild game was encouraged, rewarded and even celebrated as a sport. Attracted to Ceylon's diverse wildlife population, which included elephants, wild boar, crocodiles and leopards, hunters from across the world visited to hunt. Elephants were prized for their size and ivory tusks, while leopards were sought after for their skins as well as the prestige that came with hunting the animal down. Many hunters who came to Ceylon documented their time on the island in their travelogues. There are also a number of paintings that depict this period in Sri Lanka's colonial history. Among other big game hunters in Ceylon at the time was Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand, whose assassination triggered the First World War. By the time of his death in 1914, the Archduke had on his hands the blood of 274,889 creatures, hunted down on his own terrain and across the globe, from Ceylon in India to the Dutch East Indies in Australia. As his diary records, on 11 January 1893, while on a state visit to Ceylon, Archduke Ferdinand was engaged in stalking and hunting a huge single elephant with long tusks in a small clearing in Kalawewa. English explorer and naturalist Sir Samuel White Barker also had a taste for big game hunting. He wrote and published The Rifle and the Hound in Ceylon and Eight Years Wandering in Ceylon about his wildlife hunting on the island. King Edward VII of Great Britain was another prominent personality who visited Ceylon and engaged in hunting. He killed a number of elephants in just a few days during his trip to Hanwella in 1874. According to records maintained by government officials as well as other historical records, big game hunting occurred predominantly during this period and was partly aimed at controlling animal populations. Scottish travel writer Constance Gordon Cumming, in her book Two Happy Years in Ceylon, speaks about how sportsmen have to pay 10 rupees for a special license for each separate elephant they shoot, those who cannot realize the totally changed conditions of these forest districts in the last 50 years are apt to talk about wholesale massacre and useless cruelty. Even then, many criticized the killing of animals and were met with opposing views that justified big game hunting. This was the case in Badulla, where Major Rogers was stationed. Reports claim that the district, like the rest of the island, was overrun by herds of elephants that caused considerable damage to crops and frequently resulted in the deaths of villagers. It was amid these conditions that Major Rogers waged a war against wild elephants and came to be revered by some locals who were grateful for him for taking care of their elephant problems. In 1845, at the age of 41, Major Rogers died after being struck by lightning while staying at a guest house in Habudale. Strangely, because his tombstone in New Orleans has been struck by lightning many times, some people opposed to his killing of the wild elephants believe that he was cursed by the gods for causing the deaths of so many animals.